Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today we're going to be doing these really fun, super easy beach wine glasses. As always, I'll make sure to put everything that I use into the description below so that way you guys can find it and use it if you'd like to. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tutorials, tips, products, all kinds of stuff I have coming your way. So let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. Today I'm just using these wine glasses that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. One dollar a piece, you can't beat that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those stickers on the bottom and I'm just going to wipe them down with some rubbing alcohol. You just want to make sure to remove all that residue from those stickers and any little fingerprints that you might have accidentally placed on those wine glasses as well. to attach them to my turner I just have some footballs here and I had taped up the bottoms of those footballs so that way none of that football was touching the rim of my wine glass because if it's touching the rim of the wine glass it might get stuck to it and it'll just be very messy now I'm putting paper towels in there today I only did this so you guys can see what I am doing when I'm working on that you don't need the paper towels I, I just did that so you guys could see me work that's it you don't need the paper towels. <laughs> so I am just using three different shades of alcohol inks today. I have my white from Pinata. I also have Helena Gold from Christy Taylor. And then I do believe that is Mermaid from Tim Holtz. I'm also going to be using some powdered pigments that I had gotten from Michaels. It's just a little extra. You guys don't have to do this. The the Christy Taylor gold there was more than enough for the bottom, but I just wanted to add just a little touch more so that way I got up onto the base of that wine glass. So I have my epoxy all mixed up here. I just like to use Illumilite's Amazing Clear Cast, but please feel free to use whatever you like to use. Now I have in this other dish here, just a very tiny amount, just so that way I can put my mica powders in there and stir them up really good. Now that's gonna be what will be the sand look to the wine glass here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up really quick. Now, I didn't add enough of it this first round, so I came back through with the second glass, and I actually added just a tad, a tad bit more, there we go, <laughs> of that mica powder just to make it show just a little bit better. And it really just adds just this really pretty shimmer to the bottom. It's, it's see-through and sparkly, and it's just really neat looking on these wine glasses. All right, so let's get this epoxy onto our glasses. Now you wanna make sure that you have enough epoxy on this so that way when you go to do the alcohol inks on there, there's enough room for those swirls to form. If you, if you don't put enough epoxy onto your wine glasses, the, the swirls won't form as well and they might just kinda of wanna stay put rather than swirl. So make sure that you load this up really good top to bottom. Now, no, not the very bottom. You're just doing the top of the bottom there. I'm not doing the very bottom that sits on the table. So you just want to make sure you come in there really good and wipe it down really well. Make sure everything is nice and wet with your epoxy. Now with that mica mixture, I'm just going to take some and I'm just going to wipe it all along the top of the bottom here, all up the stem and a, not halfway up, just a little less than halfway up as well because I'm gonna come through with my gold alcohol inks and finish that up. But this just really adds just a really nice extra little touch. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up really quick and then we'll move on to the fun stuff. Okay, so my glasses are on the turner here. And as you can see the difference in the bottom, I added just a tad bit more mica powder to that one as opposed to the one on the left there. So as you can see, it just gives it just a little bit more shimmer. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that I have my blow dryer on hand. And I'm also gonna shake up my alcohol inks really, really well. You wanna make sure that mix those mixtures are very shook up and mixed together. Now I'm gonna take my Christy Taylor alcohol ink, Helena Gold, and I'm just gonna go all along the bottom, just adding just a touch more. And I'm actually gonna go 
almost halfway up the wine glass as you will see with this and I even come up along the bottom just to give it a little extra it just needed kind of just a little extra especially once you add that blue you'll really start to see everything swirl together and it just really starts to take shape once all those colors get applied this whole process is completely abstract these drops are going to do what they want to do. They're going to go where they want to go. Just let them do what they want to do and trust the process. It's going to be beautiful. I know you guys got this. Okay, once that gold is applied, now we're going to take our blue and we're going to do the same thing. But this time we're just going to go completely around the center right above where we did the gold. So we're just going to go all the way around the center. I just did four drops and then I just kind of filled in here and there, just however many you think it needs. And just kind of step back, watch what it does, see if you need to add more, and it's just as easy as that. It's extremely simple to do. I'm gonna do the same exact thing on my second wine glass here, just completely around the center, let it do its thing. And over here, as you, oh, there was a fly in here, sorry. I, I'm out in my garage. <laughs> As you can see, I added a couple more drops to my other tumbler, and I think I really like the way that looks. I really like the way it's starting to swirl in with the gold on the bottom, and I think it's ready to move on to the white now. So we're gonna do the same exact thing with the white. We're gonna drip it right above the blue here. There we go, now you can see. <laughs> we're gonna drip it right above the blue all the way around the tumbler, or wine glass. You guys know what I'm saying. Once I have all my drops done here, now I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm going to put it on the highest setting that I have on here. And I'm going to start to swirl all those inks around. I just start from the bottom up and then I come back through and I work my way down. You just want to keep going until everything is nice and swirled the way that you would like it. Because we added the alcohol straight to the epoxy the way that we did, I do not suggest that you use a torch of any kind on this because you will set your alcohol inks on fire and you don't want to do that. So <laughs> use, a, use a blow dryer or any type of heating source besides a blow torch. Just, just not a blow torch. You, you just want to move everything around. So... After I got everything moved around pretty well, I noticed that I just wanted to add a little bit more white. So I came back through, added a couple more dashes of white and did the same process with my blow dryer. Just blowed everything around until I got it nice and swirly the way that I like it. And then after I'm done with this, I'm gonna let these continue to turn on my turner for about four hours and then I'm gonna let them sit overnight. And I'm actually gonna add a second coat of waves to the bottom. Now remember, don't fuss with it too much. Just get it going and then let it do its thing. Trust the process. <laughs> okay, so here they are the next morning. I just want to clean up the rim really well. And I'm, I'm going to clean up both rims, the one at the top and the one along the bottom as well because I don't want any epoxy along the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all that off real quick. And then we will take it back out into the garage and get those second coats of waves going. Yeah, I have my epoxy all mixed up and I'm just going to load them up just like I did when we did that first step of our wine glasses. So I'm going to go ahead and put my epoxy on and then we'll move on to those extra waves. Okay, so I saved a little bit of my epoxy. I have my pinata white here that uh, will be the color of our waves. And as you can see, just a very small amount will do it. You don't need a lot. So I'm gonna take that little bit of epoxy. I'm gonna put some dashes of alcohol ink into it and I'm gonna mix it up really well. And then we're just gonna layer it across the bottom. I even come up into the top just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up and then we will just start applying it to the glass. I'm going to simply take that mixture and I'm just going to make some lines here and there. As you can see, I mean, they're not perfect. They're all going to get moved around anyways. So I'm going up the stem. I'm go even going up onto the base there of the wine glass. And as you will see here in a second, I did come back through and I added just a touch more of my white. I just wanted it just a little bit brighter than it was. It was just kind of not as bright so i went ahead and add just a couple extra dashes of white and then i'm going to continue to do this completely around each glass 
you can add as little of the waves or as much of the waves as you want. It is completely up to you. Wherever your imagination takes you with this, let it take you there. There is no right or wrong when it comes to making art. Now I'm going to take my blow dryer and do the same exact process. I'm going to blow all those waves around until I get it nice and swirly the way that I'd like it and step away and let it do its thing. Once these are fully done curing, I will come back through and apply just one last coat, one last finishing coat of epoxy. That's, that's all it needs after this, especially if you want to put any vinyls or water slides on this. You're going to have to come back through and apply one more coat anyways to kind of finish it up. And they will be ready for your favorite summer drink. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.